hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Enyo Bex and I'm a new Ghanaian YouTuber based in Accra. This is my first YouTube video and I'm coming your way with a favorite local household snack known as Inkat Cake. Inkat Cake is made out of peanuts, sugar and a little amount of oil. I'll be leaving the measurements and recipe in the description box down below. So please do well to check it out. Without further ado, let's delve right into action. I decided to make this from scratch because I had available some and fresh raw peanuts you can decide to skip this particular stage by getting yourself already roasted peanuts from the supermarket or any corner store near you to save yourself some time if you are going by this process please do well to stir it consistently and thoroughly in order to get it cooked through evenly you do not want to bend this granite at this stage at all because as to whether your end product will turn out right partly depend on the granite you use afterwards i proceeded to cooling it off on a tray and then blending it. I decided to divide it into two badges and blend it as such because the people I was making this for had two separate tastes as regards to the texture. Some wanted it very fine to cut, others wanted it really rough. So please feel free to blend this according to your taste and preference and the texture you want to go for. I thought I was filming the blending process until I finished and I realized I wasn't recording at all. My bad please forgive me you have to caramelize your sugar and have this brownish golden brown color you do not want to write this process at all so you want to do this on a very medium to low heat i decided to be on the safer side by doing this on a low heat in order to while away time you can leave this on the fire for it to do it in gently and then proceed into greasing your working surface I greased my working surface with a little amount of oil. I wanted to have that nostalgic feeling of using the good old beer bottle to make this. But poor me, I searched around the house and I couldn't find any beer bottle. So I had no option than to use the rolling pin since it would give the same end result. Afterwards, I then went back to my caramelized sugar. And at this point, it was really caramelizing pretty well look at all the crystallization forming up and melting into this beautiful golden brownish color you really want to crush all the sugar crystals in order to get everything melted you do not want to rush through this process at all remember i told you as to whether your end product will be nice it also depends on your caramelized sugar in as much as it depends on your peanuts this state is where you really have to stir through sternly and consistently in order to get every bit and grain and piece covered through with the caramelized sugar because as the caramelized sugar is serving as a sweetener it's also serving as a binder so you have to stir through consistently and very fast in order to get it all incorporated through the last thing you want is bit and piece of peanuts falling off when you are serving at this stage i was pretty sure everything was all incorporated well so i transferred it onto my working surface let me put out a little disclaimer here this is pretty hot this mixture is very very hot so you do not want it coming into contact with your skin at all and if you are under age and you want to try out this process please employ the service of an adult to guide you you then proceed into working your way through by flattening out the surface. For me, my working surface was pretty small, so I had to employ a lot of skill in getting this flattened out. The bigger your working surface, the better it is for you. So I advise you use a bigger working surface. And at this stage, you, it is imperative for you to work your way pretty fast because if you don't work too fast, it hardens on you. Cutting and shaping it becomes very difficult. So you really have to fasten up your speed and then work your way through this really, really fast. I then proceeded to cutting it into the desired shape I wanted after I was sure that everything was flattened out. At this stage, you can be creative. This is where your creativity has to come to play. But I forgot to actually cut it into a sorted shape in order to show you. I went in through vertically and then I slanted it all through. But please, 
do well to be creative at this stage you can take this one row and then roll it into an s shape a square shape anyhow you want to do it there is no hard lay down route for this it's just your creativity being put to display this is the shape i decided to go for so you can decide to be just creative with the shaping anyhow this very strip you can actually take it and then roll it into an s shape a circular motion please do well to go by this recipe and be creative with yours leave a comment down below if you like how i'm cutting it or if you will go by a different shape please leave your comment down below and leave me a feedback how yours turned out at this point myself i couldn't resist but to take the edges that weren't looking too good and shapely out of it by munching on it you uh -oh. just tell me you watching this you do not want to take this particular one that i've cut and then have a taste of it Mm -hmm. just tell me the truth i now understand why way back in the primary school we make sure we leave out change from our pocket money in order to buy in cut cake after closing hours and wahala for you if you don't have money at the time maybe god will touch your friends hearts for them to give you some otherwise this is how you'll be looking at people munching on all this deliciousness simply because you couldn't leave out money the good old days please leave out a comment in the comment section down below if you remember the good old days please do what to like comment subscribe and then share my videos tell me you do not want to grab this particular attractive looking one look at all this deliciousness please do well to go by this recipe until i come your way next time please stick and stay and then don't forget to press on the bell icon in order to get notified whenever i post a new video bye bye